the deal, man. It's the boy, them Clayne at Dwayne McClain TV. Back to another video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Today's video is going to be about the Sonya Massey situation. I hope I'm saying her last name right, man. Uh, there's two, way, two places my mind goes with this. You can think it's propaganda, CIA, uh, way to invoke black people to get angry. Because I told you they do this every year around election time. Cops, for some reason, just start aiming at black people. Now, I want to dissect the video. Everything was going good till she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. When she said Jesus, he said, you better not. I'm going to shoot you in your effing face. You know what I'm saying? And that's when things turned up. I don't know if that was a trick to me. And I hate to be this conspiracy guy with this situation because people are losing their lives, man. And she has such a nice spirit about it. But it seemed like when she said it, it was a trigger word to him. And I have seen where religious words be trigger words. This could just be a cop with racism. You know what I'm saying? Cops supposed to be there to protect. And that's why I don't get the police, man. I like the police sometimes because they didn't save my life a few times. And I can't stand them. Like, imagine, I right, one time, imagine you were, um, they pull you over for something, right? Say it's littering, right? This is a real situation that happened. So me and this lady was out and she littered in front of the police. Threw out a big bag of trash. Big bag, right in front of the cops. He pulls over right in front of my house. And he runs everybody's ID. Like, just give us a ticket for littering. Then he asked for the passenger ID. She had it. I'm like, why she need her information? When it was me, I didn't throw it out on my side, though. But it came on her side. So he asked for everybody's information. Couldn't find out she had a warrant and the rest of it. I'm like, that is insane. Like, so when they ask for your ID, are y'all really trying to help? Or y'all just really just trying to just cause issues? You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, the person I was with shouldn't have been having a warrant anyway, but they had some situations going on. I was in the world at the time. So the lady supposedly called them, and they came in the house. And when they came in the house, asked for ID and all the other stuff. She went and had a steaming pot of water on the stove, moved the water, and she didn't come at them. What was she going to do? You know, throw the water on them, and a little lady can beat two grown men up? Come on, man. You know, that's why I'm looking at the situation like, is it, is this another situation of ra racism? Could be cops being crazy. The cops are, man, there's a lot of evil cops, man. A lot of them. And I, and I, and I actually met cops who talk like that, man. Like, like, man, it's when you give people that type of power, man, that they can just get away with stuff, you know? I, do I think they need to carry guns? Of course they need to, but there should be a situation and time and place for all that, man. I don't think that stuff was needed, but we have been seeing a lot. And I do think a lot of the cops, since cops are heavenly with the Brotherhood of the Free Masonic Fraternity, I do a lot of them think they get a lot of orders a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? I think they get a lot of orders to push these a lot of agendas, man. I would not be surprised or shocked by that. That this is another way to get black people upset because we are going to be up. This is a very upsetting video, man. You know, and, they, and I think somebody was saying Trump's pushing for immunity for these guys. Why would they get immunity in every case? You know what I'm saying? But we have seen this time and time again. This happens every year. Don't get it twisted. They 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 do this to all the races. It's just not a black thing. But it's just these where you get caught on video and it looks so bad. You know what I'm saying? It looks so bad. You know? And I, I really do hate when people do this right here. So say there's a situation like this. Somebody be like, well, you ain't mad at Pookie and Ray Ray when they, poor Pookie and poor Ray Ray, y'all really got, y'all always getting badly uh, stereotyped for any type of situation. Pookie and Ray Ray always get the bat short in the stick. But they're going to say, well, well, why don't you get mad at Pookie and Ray Ray shoot up somebody's grandmother's house, which is bad too. Those are whack too. I don't, I don't like when they do that as well. But they do have a point. We do need to have the same exact anger for that stuff. But this situation right here, man, this lady was just really ugly. I can tell by her spirit. She said, I rebuke y'all in the name of Jesus. <laughs> but when she said Jesus, man, it really triggered something in that cop. Y'all go back and watch that video. As soon as she said that, and uh, they seen the steaming water, what was she going to do about that? Like, even if she threw it on y'all, you got burnt. You probably got some third degree burns. You know, she threw it on y'all. Then that's the time to do that. But, uh, Training, what I have no idea what we, in America what we could do with the police, man. I really get these guys psychologically, uh, psychologically like 
analyze, like see if that's what their brains are. Cause seem like these guys are straight up sociopaths. There was one where one was on her front porch and the dude came and did something. But where is why what makes me think that the cops be in on this stuff? There was a show called The Watchmen where it kind of talked about this stuff. Where they showed a, a cop will go and he will burn up a building. He got arrested and let out that same day. And, it was, and another cop was like, "Why did that cop get let out?" And then it's like, "Look, don't worry about it." You know, um, there's a lot of these situations I feel like these guys purposely do these things and they get a pass to do it. And who knows, man, what if a lot of cops got orders that day to do some wild stuff, you know, you know, and you can probably think deeper on it and be like, oh, man, she was acting as well. But people can do mad reaching. I don't want to do that, man. My spirit and my soul don't even feel right doing it because the video is just so disgusting, man. Probably one of the most nastiest, disgusting videos ever, man. And uh, don't get it twisted. Uh, cops deal with a lot of stuff, especially these low-income neighbor neighborhoods. And they have to be on their P's and Q's. I talked to one guy. He was a cop. This was a personal conversation we had. Where he said, man, you understand. We out here in these areas, you're not. He was real with me. He said, you're not dealing with ghetto black people all the time like me. He said, I have to deal with them. He said, as soon as they see me, I'm an enemy. He said, I can come up to him. He said, I try the nice cop thing. He said, the nice cop thing gets spit in the face. It gets just stabbed. He said, he puts you in a bad situation. He says, I have to be rude in these areas. I have to be mean to him. And I'm like, I never looked at it that. I said, I never looked at it from your shoes. And he's like, she so he said, think about it. Dealing with ghetto black people. He, I told him to be as blunt as possible with this with me. This was a Puerto Rican Spanish guy. He said, dealing with black ghetto black people. He said, think about a nightclub situation. He said, when the white clubs let out, I have no issues. But as soon as the black clubs let out, I have issues. I have sh shootings. He said, I go to black areas. So in a situation like this, he said he's seen where they'll come off like they're nice and they're out of nowhere. But he's, he, it was a, a, a situation that happened like a couple years back. He said he will never, ever use lethal force. He said he would go for the taser. They could have tased her. I don't know why they went for lethal force. They could have tased her anything they went for lethal force that's why i'm like either these guys were sent they're crazy they need to be a psychological evaluation on the entire team i hope these guys go to jail man i want them to go to a serious jail and i want them to have proof that they go we never get proof that these guys really go to jail we never get no proof we never hear no stories we don't hear no violence happening to them. we hear nothing you know what i'm saying so i just don't like how the story looked man she seemed like a very nice spirited woman and I really hate how, when you call the cops to a situation, how they handle stuff, it, it can it can go from, uh, some cops, I've seen some really good cops. I've been in some situations where cops got called and really nice, really kind, they won't look to be malicious, intent. Then I have seen some cops be very rude and very mean. You know what I'm saying? Very rude, very mean, very angry. So you, you're kind of playing Russian roulette when you call them. You know what I'm saying? Especially for us as black people, man. Think about what we call them. Man, you might call the cops and they'll arrest you. You know what I'm saying? They'll arrest you, man. Like, it is crazy how how, how the law is. And, and I really, I, I don't really like them. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I really don't like them. But I did tell y'all, I said this at the beginning of the year. I said, be prepared for more and more stuff to start happening close to the election. Just so happens Kamala Harris is about to get into office. She's a black. Quote, quote, Kamala Harris, you ain't, hey, you ain't black. Quote, unquote, a black woman get in office. And there was a situation where a black woman was lost her life to the police. Y'all, it's just not, it doesn't happen like that, ironically. That's why my conspiracy brain is always in, especially with these type of situations with the police, because they like to use that as political agendas. You know what I'm saying? It, it could have been one Hollywood staged act. You know what I'm saying? Probably when she was moving a steam pot of water and she got the steam and she said that, that was his keyword to, oh, it's time, it's time for action. And, man, they probably rehearsed. Who knows? They probably rehearsed that in lumens of times. But I'm telling you, it, it, think about it, guys. Think about it. Think. Kamala Harris just announced. This story's been bubbling for a while now. But they, they do this a lot to black women, man. I don't want this to turn to where... Oh, Dwayne, you're not trying to defend, you know, black. I, they they have taken a lot of black women lives, police custody. Sandra Bland's, a lot of that stuff is wrong, man. I really hate how the police force is 
works alongside of the agenda pushers. You know what I'm saying? And they get orders from that, you know? And seeing this video, how these guys went straight to lethal force, man, and then there was another situation. I told you, a cop went up to a lady's front porch, took her life, left. All these stories about to come out and they're going to help with the election. I guarantee you, Kamala Harris is going to use this as a way to push her agenda. It's going to be a way to get her stepping stone in, get her liked by the people and all that stuff. You know, there's going to and then they, the, also the defund the police thing is going to come back. You know, they want the police defunded. At the end of the day, like I said, I don't like the police, but the police keep society at bay. No police. We the wild wild west. Y'all don't want no situation where there ain't no police. Cause ladies, I'ma tell y'all this. Men are disgusting, terrible, evil, vile creatures. They are the worst part of the planet. Once these crazy men who don't have no soul, no more, no integrity, and there's no police, y'all ladies are gonna need y'all another man to protect y'all or get y'all a gang of females together and be like Sin City and protect y'all city. Because these dudes, if there's no police, the RAP word gonna be at an all-time high. You know, I'm pretty sure towns could police each other up. You know, hey, this is our neighborhood. Like my neighborhood right now, I guarantee you, we could we could protect our neighborhood. My neighborhood right now, that all of us is cool as a rapport. Everybody like each other on that street. I'm pretty sure we could protect our own. But if something was to happen, we'd be able to handle it. But we, I do like the idea of the police. There is a safety net out here that keeps everybody at bay. The police. I don't think they need to be defunded. But I do think there need to be some protocols there. There need to be more rules on when to rule. There need to be rules of engagement. In the military, we have rules of engagement. There had to be, before you fired your, arm, your your weapon at a supposedly terrorist, this step, this step, this step, and this step had to take place before you fired your first shot. If that stuff didn't take place, you was going to get the 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 short day. I didn't know she, she was looking like that lady part like that beside me. Looking like that. I'm windows of ten of them. She went until she got right there. Like, man, Shawty was cooking. I don't know. That's like something was going on. I think, because what happened when well, I'm over here being nosy, I park at the back of the building. So she was over here waiting. Buddy pulled up. As soon as he left, she left. Now they both making left turns out here. I'm like the old lady in the hood. I'm just nosy. So now they both making left turns. They both pull up to tenant windows. She had a little Puerto Rican flag right there in front of the window. You know, they Puerto Rican. You know, they they, they up to something. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I think that was a little drug deal going wrong. And they're like, he need to leave. They sitting in my car. Like, Let's just go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Or or they already sold the drugs because she was right here. He parked beside. He probably got on the passenger seat, sold the drugs, got back in his car. Because they both peeled at the same time. I'm just being nosy. I'm just being nosy. I ain't got nothing to say. Why am I parking back here anyway? Who want to park behind the daggone phone place? Make no sense, man. Anyways, man, let me know what y'all think of this situation, man. I do think it's ironic that Kamala Harris is starting this. is a, something to help get her, the people to like her. She's going to seek justice. And uh, just that entire situation just seemed like it was out of whack. You know what I'm saying? Out of whack. I do hate that young lady lost her life. You know, she said she had a real nice spirit. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, I have seen this in numerous of times where somebody will say a religious word. I remember somebody said, oh, they'll catch the Holy Ghost. Somebody froze up. They'll use religious terms. And even in my dreams, I used to have dreams where I would say either Jesus and I'll have a, a witch ride. Or I'll be having a witch ride, i say Jesus, I'll unlock it. Or if I'm asleep and i say the word Satan and I will go to a, a different realm in my dream. Things like that would happen. These words got powers, y'all. I hope y'all know that. These words got powers. Every last single one of them. So however you however they're constructing, that's in every language too. So however you're using these words, they can unlock things and happen in your life. So I wouldn't be surprised that's what happened. But that's all I gotta say on this topic, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Support so, on Clay, Dwayne Clay TV. Y'all be blessed, y'all be safe. I'm gone.